Roger, thank you very much. I'm joined in studio now by Tom Djokovic. He's the CEO of XNX Incorporated, XSNX. Uh, Tom, good to see you again. Great to be back, Don. You know, I would r I'm glad you're here because it's been a couple, three months since we last spoke. You want to bring us up to date a little bit on what's going on with the company? Well, Don, we're, we're developing some new manufacturing technology for what's called FinFilm CIGS. Uh, we just issued a shareholder newsletter earlier this week where we try to do these about every two weeks. We give investors an update. Uh, you know, when you do an R&D, there's not always earth-shaking things happening every week. Uh, sometimes it's like watching grass grow, but nonetheless, we try to keep updates. We're, and and we're, we're essentially right now we're routinely making solar cells every day. Uh, we're, we're building on the progress, tweaking, making improvements. We started a new phase where uh, we have, uh, see these little grid lines? Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is one of the final phases that you need to work on, uh, but we're, we're doing it simultaneously with other phases. And this actually collects the electricity off the surface of the solar cell and allows it to be then conducted out to where it can be used. And so we're starting to experiment with that, selecting different uh, conductive inks and different processes for depositing that. So that's, that's something we're doing simultaneously right now, and it's a, a new area of progress. We'll, we'll continue to report on that as we move forward. So we're slowly marching towards completion. Now, you're of the opinion that this is a revolution in uh, the manufacturing of solar cells, correct? Oh, well, absolutely. The, the, there's been very little improvement in terms of quantum leaps of improvement in terms of the solar cell devices themselves. Everything, all aspects of what's been holding back the efficiency conversions of solar, we think is attributable to manufacturing techniques. And that's where we think we've cracked a nut here, or we're working to crack a nut here to really release the untapped potential of CIGS. Now, you provided us a little bit of animation. Uh, why don't you tell us what we're looking at here? Well, well this, uh, Don, is a, uh, a graphic of our system, and it shows how by simply, when we're only going to make one individual small solar cell at a time, we've got to figure out how to make millions of them. And with this particular system, it allows us to simultaneously process in multiple zones and uh, individual cells, and that gives us the per hour throughput capacity to achieve multi-megawatt annual production. And that's necessary to, because we think we can maintain high efficiencies in this in this manufacturing technique, but we still have to figure out how to make lots of these uh, high quality solar cells. And with this system, this graphic kind of gives you an idea how we're able to move material uh, rapidly, simultaneously through a system and, and multiple um, individual solar cells simultaneously. So it's, it's an important pack, uh, part of our plan. We thought in investors might be interested. Now, how important is it to start on a small scale uh, with respect to quality control before you ramp up to full production? Well, well, let me point something out here. We're actually developing on full-size systems. Okay. The, what, w the chambers and the technology and the systems we're working on right now, there is going to be no change when we move to production or we can offer this as a production system. We're not starting really small. Uh, I mean, we're not starting small and then trying to move to large area. As a matter of fact, I brought a, a graphic, if you put it up on the screen, and what this shows investors is, is it basically, if you look at different columns, it shows you different kinds of technologies, CIGS being at the bottom in the gold or the yellow. It shows you, as you move to the right, from left to right, it shows you what the factory manufactured conversion efficiencies are. It shows you what's being done in the laboratory and then what the untapped potential is. And if you look down at the bottom, CIGS has almost 100% untapped potential. You're getting 8 to 10% in the factory, close to 20% in laboratories, uh, so there's close to 100% untapped potential. And we think that that is a result of, of, of going from small to large. When you go large, it's hard to control the environment. And so our, our systems are designed to maintain a very small processing area so we can more um, accurately monitor what's going on, reduce defects, improve the quality of the films, ergo in deliver higher amounts of untapped CIGS potential. Then, with the manufacturing techniques we just show, uh, showed a, a, an animation of, we're able to simultaneously produce millions of these kinds of cells annually. So we combine um, two tremendous benefits together, cracking the nut on the manufacturing side, delivering high quality CIGS devices. It's just amazing. Once again, uh, XSUNX, stock symbol XSNX. Uh, for more information, please go to their website, xsunx.com. Tom, thanks so much. Hey, thanks. Thanks for having me back.